Hi, my name is Edo, call sign EI9HAB. So I've decided to take on a project to build um, a HF antenna specifically cut for um, the 20 meter band or 14 megs. Um, and the idea for this antenna is that it's portable and that it's cheap to build. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, portable and cheap to build and that it works. Um, so I've been scanning around for a few plans or designs or things that have been done already. And the one that I kind of settled on is this one here. It's from the ARRL book, um, Small Antenna for Small Spaces. I have this book because I live in a suburban area of Dublin. My garden's not so big, so I'm always kind of mulling over what the best <coughs> antenna for my situation should be. Now I have a doublet on the house already, a 22 meter one, and it works very well, but I don't have a vertical. But um, what I do on a, ver a vertical, and then something that I can bring around with me as well. So the ARRL design is, is simply this. Uh, they suggest that you make it from PVC uh, pipe, like waste water pipe. Um, and pretty much you have the coax coming in. Coax shield goes to ground, to the ground radials here, and the center part of the coax is suspended up the middle of the pipe. Um, and you can cut it for any band that you want. Um, I'm gonna make this collapsible, um, and that I can take it apart and throw it in the car. And there's a reason for that. Um, there's something coming up this year that I might want to use the um, antenna for. Um, but even still, I'd like to have a vertical that I can throw up in the back garden and get the benefits of having a vertical. So I'm going to get on now and, and make it and uh, see how this design um, stacks up. Okay. Okay, so now I'm making the wire part of the antenna. Um, that consists of the vertical element of the antenna that radiates and then the four legs of the ground plane or the four radials. So the length is calculated at um, 5,023 millimeters or 5.02 meters um, and as I said the way that will work is you'll have the vertical element of the antenna sticking up and then you'll have the ground plane four radials on the ground plane which are the same length as the vertical part and the way I've done that is just if you're marking out your antenna length I just have two posts here on the workbench screws just run the lens up and down until you have five meters and then just marked off the point 0.2 there at the end, point zero 0.02 at the end. And just another tip uh, for this little project, I'm using these little uh, ring connectors, um, one here, on each end of the uh, radials. Um, and that just means that uh, with the holes you can just um, connect them to a center point. And then there's one on the other end of the radial, which means you can just put a peg through it into the ground to stretch it out properly. So it's just two anchor points really um, to put it together. So the next part then is connecting um, it all up together. Um, I'll show you that in a second. So just so we know what we're looking at here, this is the coax and here's the shield going to the ground radials so that's the ring connectors there um, and uh, one two three four radials will be going off obviously um, at 90 degrees to each other and then this is the antenna wire here from the center section of the coax so just so you know what it looks like so the ring connectors are all just held together with a nut and a bolt and Obviously the ring connectors are all soldered to the wire at the end to give them strength um, so the joints don't come apart. Um, and as I said, at each end of the radial is another ring connector soldered on. So um, literally like put a tent peg or something through them um, just to anchor them in place. That will be the plan. So that's what it looks like before it's all um, lashed up to the antenna. So we'll get on and do that next. So I'm just working on the mass section now. Um, so it's two three meter PVC pipes, so six meters. 
So as regards the antenna mast itself, I followed the initial um, ARRL advice in their book, um, which I showed at the start of the video. And it suggested using waste water pipe or PVC pipe to build the mast. Now, in reality, I ran into some practical difficulties there. The pipe came in three meter sections. So initially, I just put the two sections together uh, using um, uh, the couplings that come with the pipe and it was fine it would stay together okay but the issue was is that when it went vertical um, it was it's too heavy it, 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 and it's too flexible it just bends right over and even with guy ropes quite high up and um, it's very unstable and quite unwieldy so the other issue was is that I couldn't find smaller diameter pipes basically to stack up higher to make it kind of telescopic and lighter on top and to be honest, my gut feeling is, is that wouldn't have worked anyway. It still would have been too heavy. The PVC is just too heavy for that type of height. So I have an issue with the ARRL um, suggestion there because in practice, it doesn't appear to be um, a viable solution. So I racked my brains and um, really what I did was I, I went to um, an angling shop here in Dublin and I bought a telescopic fishing pole for less than 20 euro and what I've done is I've used that fishing pole with the ARRL suggested design for the base of the antenna and so on and put the two of them together so I'm going to show you what the outcome is and um, so first we'll see it on the ground uh, just so I can give you a closer look and then we'll look at it up in the air and uh, then hopefully in operation. So we'll start with the antenna base. So this is it here in front of us. As you can see, it's um, sections of PVC pipe with 90 degree angles, and then a mounting part in the middle, which is a T section. Um, and as you can see there, there'll be there's a nut in the bolts that will go through the base of the antenna that will hold it in place. And then on the corners, I have these tie points, and these tie points will be for guy ropes, just um, in this small garden here, just to keep it steady. Um, that just means the whole thing can be tied up together. The mast itself is the bottom section I kept as the PVC pipe, um, and that gives it some rigidity. And then inside it, then the fishing pole is inserted. And as you can see, it, it goes off up the garden there. Um, as regards the copper wire, it comes in here at the base. There you go, there. Um, hope you can see that, it's quite sunny. Um, and then this is the uh, ring that goes off to the ground radials, which are here. So that will just connect onto that when the ground, ground radials are in the ground. And the wire itself needs to, um, it's just held on with cable ties on the way up. What I found was, and when I put it up initially, the wire, if it's hanging free, actually drags down the top of the fishing pole because the copper's heavy enough to do that. Um, and you can see, if you just come up here, that's the top of it there. Um, I don't know if you can focus on that. It's just screwed into the top anyway. Uh, sorry about the grass. There you go. So that's the whole lot there. So the next thing is to get it up vertical. So just to show you how I made the attachment for the guys. Um, it's a washer. Um, the length of a pen. Like a Crayola pen, I think. And then the ring connector with the nylon rope through it. So just to show you that before it goes up, and there's four of them that will anchor off to the corner of the, each corner, of the, the base of the antenna, for now anyway. So this is the antenna fully up. Um, as you can see, I just have the, the guide ropes, just while we're in the back garden, just anchor to the corner of the base just connected up the ground radials there you can see that um, they 
in practice probably have been pushed into the ground a bit more and they're just laid out across the garden here um, that's it really it's five meters I'm just going to give it a go Echo India 9, Hotel Alpha Bravo Uh, Romeo 5 uh, Echo Charlie from Echo India 9 Hotel Alpha Bravo Hotel Alpha Bravo The name here is Adrian Alpha Delta Romeo India Alpha November Your signal with me is about a 5 and 7 at the moment I'm just trying out a new homemade vertical antenna What's my signal report over? Uh, Romeo 5 Echo Charlie from Echo India 9 Hotel Alpha Bravo. Thanks for the signal report, Nikolai. Uh, good the X today, 7 3. It works. <laughs>